Will you stop that? You are utterly mad. Stop, Holmes! Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only... I suppose... Pete? I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. This is where I keep my post. My archive. I can always consult with it, if needed. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. This is... My archive. I can always consult with it, if needed. What a mess! What a terrible mess! I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. A map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. You go along to Peter Kerr's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. I cannot leave yet. I am not finished here. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. leave yet. I am not finished here. This is where I keep my... My analysis table. It is useful for my work. You... You go along to Peter Kerr's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. I cannot...
Oh, what a mess! What? Mr. Ar it seems that the garden was well maintained. Inspector Lestrade, when would... I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condol... Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Madam... ...had a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Can you please tell Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Do you remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock, I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around 10 o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and open oh, yeah. The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true. Well, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no. I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. He lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you, soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy. But he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You have indeed. Yes. He was different, wasn't he, 
when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth. Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You have indeed. Yes. Yeah. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. <laughs>